Listen to this. A doctor reversed her own autoimmune disease through diet and nutrition, and now she's helping patients across the country do the same. She says they're tossing out medications and replacing them with fruits and vegetables. Dr. Brooke Goldner is a busy mom, best-selling author, and on a mission to help others reverse disease like she did. I actually lived with lupus for 12 years, which is an autoimmune disease, and I had kidney failure, I had blood clots, mini strokes, and 16 years ago, I changed my diet. I gave up all the cheese I was addicted to. I started eating a plant-based diet, lots of salads, green smoothies, all that stuff that scares most people away. But I started doing that. And for 16 years, I've been lupus-free, normal blood tests. I've had two kids, normal kidneys. So this really changed the way I understood disease and practiced medicine. The dramatic shift in her health prompted Dr. Goldner to set out on a mission to give others the same chance. She explains many diseases boil down to what genes were born with. All of us have a genetic component to whatever illnesses we might get, whether it's high blood pressure or diabetes or cancer or autoimmune diseases. But what people don't understand fully yet uh, is how much power we have over gene expression. She says that means a few lifestyle changes can often prevent bad genes from turning into disease. Most of us aren't walking around with a little book of our genome that says every little thing that we might have or might get. But it's interesting that most genes for a disease are actually triggered by the same things. I mean, when you look at, again, stress and sleep and diet, those are the main factors that actually influence the expression of many different genes, including ones for cancer, heart disease, and autoimmune disease. Autoimmune diseases are on the rise at an alarming rate in other parts of the world that have taken on our Western diet. So high animal products, meat, dairy, high processed foods, fast foods, that as people around the world are eating a diet more like ours, they are now getting higher and higher levels of autoimmune diseases as well. It all goes back to we truly are what we eat. Studies show most people are deficient in minerals. Where do minerals come from? Those green leafy vegetables growing out of the soil, right? So a lot of folks will use that as a garnish, but not as a meal. So I really recommend that people start introducing those foods. Even if you haven't given up the stuff that's making you sicker, you can start introducing more of the foods that will assist your cells in repairing themselves, mm -hmm. which is going to be more fresh vegetables, fruits, um, unprocessed grains are not harmful in any way. You want to throw in some quinoa into your salad if you want to and beans and things like that. None of those things are inflammatory. You don't have to look far to find other researchers agree about the benefits of eating a high plant based diet with articles coming out of Baylor College of Medicine, the National Library of Medicine and Harvard Medical School. Researchers from Columbia University show plant-based diets are also linked to lower risk of severe COVID-19 and even helping people suffering from long-haul symptoms. Now, Dr. Goldner also suggests we all eat more omega-3s like flax seeds, chia seeds. Mm -hmm. You can throw those in smoothies if you want. Plus, drink a lot more water, she says. I'll put a link on our website with more information about Dr. Goldner's three books to help people reverse autoimmune disease. She also provides free guidelines for help because she says she doesn't want people to have to pay money to learn how to reverse their own disease. Oh, that's some helpful information. I need yes. it drilled into my brain. <laughs> Never can hear it enough. All right, thank you, Melissa.